silhouetted. The evolution of black and white lines and stripes and zebras is not about camouflage against the fawn tones of the African savanna, but rather that of blending into each other, into the herd. They are seen collectively by a pack of marauding lions as a blur. Individuals merge into the mass of the shape shifting herd. Lions hunt by focusing on one beast, an attempt to drive it towards companions lying in wait into the kill zone. But the staccato mosaic picture they receive as they close in on the herd compromises their ability to pick one out. However, lions, they're creatures of cunning and they learn to hunt when the low afternoon sun backlights and silhouettes the skittish beasts. The trade-off is a loss of surprise for an attack out of blinding sunlight is how raptors kill their prey with devastating effect. With lions, the benefits of mounting a reverse asymmetrical attack into the light far outweighs the disadvantages. Seen this way, the wary grazing zebra, they present themselves as big bowl shapes with which the lions lunge at. How lions catch their prey and muggers shake down their victims, vaguely similar. They both use stealth and the element of surprise. Cape Town's Metro Rail, its dimly lit stations, are ideal mugging zones. Regarded as risky, commuters are wary and similar to grazing zebra, they're always watching their backs, using their peripheral vision to the max. The further down quiet, off-peak corridors, the commuters shuffle or into gloomy underpasses they wander, their trepidation rises. There's a palpable sense of urgency to get off the carriages, out of the system. And until they do, they're in a state of hyper arousal, acute stress, a psychological response, also known as fight or flight. <laughs>